Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have the ZT0562. This is a hinderer design. And I'm not too big of a fan of hinderer designs, but this one, this one's actually a little bit better than the full hinderer design, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about what I did to this. Now, the reason why it's disassembled and it's already customized, uh, I'll be honest, I completely forgot to record a good chunk of what I did. But fortunately, I do have videos on how I anodized the titanium and then how I created this backspacer. So I'll leave a link down to those videos in the description down below. So with that out of the way, let's uh, get right into it. So I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to stain the anode uh, before it gets to the customer. So I just want it to be perfect when it gets there. So I'll give you guys a close look. So we got a purpley bluish tint to it so the customer wanted more of a purple now you can go more of a golden purple but I decided to go with a little bit more blue purple I guess the higher range in the amps that I chose to get this really cool color now this was already stone washed so what's really nice about the stone wash is the scratched up areas have a different finish than the the other rougher area so they do pop a little bit more those scratches there's the underside for you guys really quick but really pleased with the outcome of the purple and then the customer also wanted a custom backspacer so i had a chunk of fat carbon and this is the black camo but really happy with how this turned out i created some pretty cool bevels there as you can see it goes a little bit deeper here uh, towards the middle of the hump so really accents that that really cool weave pattern from the carbon fiber the fat carbon and it's got a little swoop to it and i'll show you guys what it looks like once it's assembled but really pleased with this as well and unfortunately i couldn't go full circle i actually had to dig into this because if i didn't then the blade would hit it and it just it didn't function properly so that's why they're kind of uh 90 circles but that's basically it so enough talking about it, let's put it together and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is all finished up. And I did get a little bit of oil on the finish, but I'll just use some Windex to clean that up really quick. And I'll bring that purple back. Here is the pocket clip side. And again, I just really like that stone washed finish. It really anodizes well. And then as you guys can see, the backspacer it does have, I tried to have it flow with the front here. So I kind of wanted it to arch up just a bit. I guess you can say it has kind of a, a mohawk to it, if you will. But I wanted to make sure that it stood out, which it does. And then just kind of go with the flow of the scale or the top side of it. And there is a slight swoop down here. You can barely see it in the back end. But again, I wanted to, I wanted to incorporate it into the backspacer, which I'm really happy with. And unfortunately, I couldn't go all the way with the backspacer since the pocket clip has its own setup back here, but I was able to make it look as good as I could. But this 0562 hinder design from ZT is actually a, it's actually not, a, not that bad of a knife. Again, not a fan of hinderer knives, but this one actually looks pretty good. And again, that flipper tab is, it's a big flipper tab, but it does get in the way of dropping this thing shut. But if you put it way back, it will get past the detent and then it will drop shut. But it's one of the reasons why I don't like Enders, but it's not terrible. Just not my, my cup of tea, but it is a really, really smooth action knife. Again, it really fires out. If I didn't have the gloves, I would be able to, you can actually thumb flick with the, uh, the stop pins here since they act as thumb studs too. But yeah, really, really pleased with it. As always, you guys, let me know down below of what you guys think, how this thing turned out. Unfortunately, I didn't do a before uh, video before I customized it, so I'll put a picture of what it should look like or what it used to look like. 
compared to now. So you guys can get a little comparison. And then real quick before I forget, I wanted to mention the, the ergos now with that backspacer. I made sure that it was comfortable in hand. So that way it doesn't bother you because it didn't before. So I didn't want to mess with the ergos. Even with reverse, it's really comfortable. And then even putting your thumb actually creates a kind of an anchor point where your thumb bends. So it actually feels really comfortable and you can get some good downforce if you need to. But there is the custom ZT0562 hinderer design. And I hope the customer likes it. Again, I'm going to clean up the titaniums to get rid of those, those oily spots. Again, Windex does the trick. But really, really pleased with it. And you can see how that the carbon fiber weave pattern really shines in certain certain angles. So again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.